वेलकम टू मई चानल टूडे से दयर आर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेश वित् कॉन्स्टेंट को आफ द फॉर्म एफ आफ डी इंटू वै इज ईक्वल टू सैन एक्स इंटू का बी एक्स आर् सैन एक्स इंटू सैन बी एक्स आर् का एक्स इंटू का बी एक्स फॉर्म कमिंग टू द प्राब्लम साल डी स्क्वेर एक्स बै डी टी स्क्वेर प्लस फोर एक्स इज ईक्वल टू ए सैन टी इंटू का फर् दिस प्राब्लम फस्ट यू कैन रईट द आपरेटर फॉर्म आपरेटर फॉर्म इज पुट डी स्क्वेर बै डी टी स्क्वेर ईक्वल टू डी स्क्वेर फोर एक्स एक्स कॉन्स्टेंट दट मीन फोर इज ईक्वल टू रईट सैड ऐस इट ईज ए सैन टी का नैक्स्ट रईट द एक्सलर इक्वेशन In the place of d, put m. If of m equal to zero, m square plus four equal to zero. E is comparing with the quadratic equation. We get the roots. That is minus plus r minus four i by two. That is equal to complex. E is comparing with the complex form a plus r minus i b, where a is equal to zero, b is equal to zero. For complex form, e to the power of x into c1 cos b x plus c2 sin b x. Put a is equal to zero and b is equal to two. Coming to the P A, first you can know the formulas for this type of problems. What are the rules for this type of problems? Sin a cos b. If it is in the product of sin a cos b, then you can change it into the form of sin of a plus b 1 by 2 into sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b it is first formula next cos a sin b then the formula is 1 by 2 into sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b next If the problem is cos a cos b form, then one by two into cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. Next, the problem is sin a sin b form, one by two into cos of a minus b minus cos of A plus B. Last one is you can remember. Last one is slightly you can you can know the formula. Sin A into sin B is equal to one by two into cos of A minus B minus cos of A plus B. That you have to remember. Okay. Next, coming to the P I. This is the rules for the converting the product into sum and difference. Okay. Next, coming to the problem. P I is equal to What is RHS a sin t cos t by d square? That is f of d. Here you can see it is in the form of sin a cos b. Sin a cos b. What is the formula? One by two into sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b. Here a is t, b is t. That you have to observe. Therefore, a by two is constant. A by two is constant. Sine of a plus b t plus t plus sine of t minus t. That is sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b means a is equal to t, b is equal to t. Therefore, you can read it as sine a cos b. Therefore, it can be written as sine of a plus b. A plus b means a is t, b is t. Therefore, a plus b plus sine of a minus b. Whole divided by whole divided by f of d. That is equal to a by two into sine two t plus sine zero whole divided by f of d. That is equal to a by two into sine two t by f of d. What is sine zero? Sine zero is zero. Simply, it is a by two into sine two t by d square plus four d square plus four f of d. Here you can see what is the a value. A value is two. T coefficient. A value is two. A square is 
2 square that is equal to 4 put d square is equal to minus a square that is equal to minus 4 in f of d what is f of d d square plus 4 you can write the values we get a by 2 into sin 2t by minus 4 plus 4 what happened the denominator becomes a by 2 into sin 2t by 0 is not defined is not defined what happened if we can substitute f of f of minus 4 is equal to 0 then we go for the rule what is rule sin a sin a t by d square plus a square is there then formula is minus x by minus t by 2a into cos a t therefore a by 2 into sin 2t by it is in the form of d square plus 2 square where a is equal to 2 you can apply the formula a by 2 into minus t by 2 into 2 into cos 2t x means t 2 into a means 2 into a means 2 therefore cos 2t that is equal to minus a t cos 2t whole divided by 8 is the p a value next coming to the solution y is equal to sorry x is equal to because here you can see the problem in the problem it is in the form of dx by dt if the problem is in dy by dx then solution is y is equal to in terms of x you have to write the problem is the differential coefficient is in the form of dx by dt then here here you can see x is x is a dependent variable t is independent variable therefore solution is in terms of t but x is equal to in terms of t therefore solution is solution is x is equal to cf plus pi cf plus pi therefore x is equal to what is cf c1 cos 2t plus or minus c2 sin 2t minus a t into cos 2t hold it by 8 is the solution for the problem okay next coming to the problem number 15 here you can see d square plus 5 d minus 6 into y is equal to sin 4 t sin t here also the problem is in operator form straight away you go for the auxiliary equation next comparing the formula we get the solution we get the roots for this auxiliary equation is minus 2 comma minus 3 this you have to know next the roots are real and unequal complementary function is c1 e power m1 x plus c2 e power m2 x because here first root is minus 2 second root is minus you can substitute next coming to the pi value sin 4 t 4 x into sin x by f of d what is the formula here sin a into sin b is equal to 1 by 2 into cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b it is the formula for sin a sin b rule okay here a is equal to 4x the total coefficient you have to assumed as a b is equal to x that is equal to 1 by 2 into cos of 4x minus x minus cos of 4x plus x whole divided by whole divided by f of d here you can see 1 by 2 into what is first term cos 3x by f of d what is second term cos 5x by f of d therefore PA is equal to there are two parts one is PA1 another one is PA2 coming to the PA1 what is PA1 cos 3x by d square plus 5d minus 6 where a is equal to 3 a square is equal to 3 square that is equal to 9 put d square is equal to minus a square that is equal to minus 9 in f of d that means in denominator 
that is equal to cos 3x by in the place of d square you can write minus 9 plus 5d minus x that is equal to cos 3x by 5d minus 15 you can take 5 common also therefore 1 by 5 into cos 3x by d minus 3 here you can see in the denominator we have d minus 3 to change it into the d square form multiply 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 numerator and denominator with conjugate what is conjugate of d plus 3 d, d for d minus 3 d plus 3 is the conjugate therefore 1 by 5 is common d plus 3 into cos 3x by d plus 3 into d minus 3 is the denominator denominator is in the form of a plus b into a minus b that gives a square minus b square therefore 1 by 5 into d plus 3 into cos 3x whole divided by d square minus 9 because a is d b is 3 a square means d square 3 square means 9 it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b here you can substitute again put d square is equal to what x coefficient is 3 3 square is 9 that is minus 9 that is equal to 1 by 5 into d of cos 3x plus 3 cos 3x whole divided by minus 9 minus 9 what is derivative d of cos 3x means d by dx of cos 3x what is cos formula c for negative minus 3 sin 3x that is equal to 1 by 5 into minus 3 sin 3x plus 3 cos 3x by minus 18 by taking 3 common minus 3 common that is minus minus gets cancelled therefore minus 3 into sin 3x minus cos 3x whole divided by 5 into minus 18 minus minus cancel 3 ones are 3 six are. that is equal to sin 3x minus cos 3x whole divided by 30 is p a 1 next coming to the p a 2 cos 5x by d square plus 5d minus 6 that is here you can see what is p a 2 p a 2 is equal to cos 5x by f of d therefore d square plus 5d minus 6 coming to the problem what is x coefficient a a is 5 a square a square is 5 square that means 25 put d square is equal to minus a square that is equal to minus 25 in f of d that is equal to cos 5x by in the place of d square only you have to substitute that is equal to minus 25 plus 5d minus 6 that is equal to cos 5x by 5d minus 31 that is equal to here you can see in the denominator we have 5d minus 31 but for cos and sin you have to substitute the values of a square minus a square in d square only therefore operate with multiply multiply with multiply nr and dr with 5d plus 31 that is equal to 5d plus 31 into cos 5x whole divided by 5d plus 31 into 5d minus 31 that is equal to 5d plus 31 by into cos 5x by 25 into d square a square minus 31 whole square 31 whole square is equal to you can simply calculate 1 square is 0 1 3 square is 0 9 3 into 1 into 2 3 into 1 into 2 is equal to 6 that means 6 961 is the square okay 961 31 square 
next you can substitute d square is equal to minus 25 that is equal to 5 into d of cos 5x plus 31 cos 5x by by 25 into minus 25 minus 961 625 into 25 is minus 625 5 into minus 5 sin 5x because d of cos 5x is c for negative cos 5x derivative is minus 5 sin 5x okay next 31 cos 5x whole divided by minus 625 minus 961 coming to the simplification minus 25 sin 5x plus 31 cos 5x by you can add it 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 9 plus 6 is 15 okay minus common that is equal to 25 sin 5x minus 31 cos 5x whole divided by 1586 therefore solution solution y is equal to c of plus p a that is equal to what is complementary function complementary function is c1 e power minus 2x c2 e power minus 3x c1 e to the power of minus 2x c2 e to the power of minus 3x plus 1 by 2 into p a 1 is sin 3x minus cos 3x whole divided by 30 minus p a 2 is 25 sin 5x minus 31 cos 5x whole divided by 1586 is pa2 this is the complete solution for the sin sin 4x sin x problem okay next come to the similar problem here you can see i already solved it d square plus 1 into y is equal to sin x into sin 2x first write the auxiliary equation then go for the roots this is common processor after finding the roots, the roots are in complex. Here A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, 1 because there is no real value. Next, write the complementary form. That is e to the power of Ax into C1 cos Bx plus C2 sin Bx where A is 0, B is 1. Next, coming to the sin A, sin B is equal to 1 by 2 into cos A of A minus B minus cos of A plus B. Here sin A, sin B, A is X, B is 2X. 1 by 2 into cos of x minus 2x minus cos of x plus 2x by f of d. 1 by 2 into cos of minus x plus minus cos of 3x because cos of minus theta is cos theta in fourth quadrant. Therefore, cos x by f of d minus cos 3x by f of d. P a 1 minus P a 2. Here you can see P a 1 is equal to cos x by d square plus 1. But put d square that is a is equal to 1 x coefficient is 1 a square equal to 1 put d square equal to minus a square that is equal to that is equal to minus 1 in f of d we get 0 in denominator he is not defined the what is the rule cos a x by d square plus a square is equal to x by 2 a into minus x by uh, x by 2 a into sin a x because a is equal to 1 therefore x by 2 into 1 into sin x is the rule for the zero case next p a 2 cos 3 x by d square plus 1 put d square is equal to minus 9 because a is equal to x coefficient is 3 a square is equal to 9 d square is equal to minus a square uh, after substitution we get minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8 therefore solution is combination of complementary function and particular integral Therefore, y is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus 1 by 2 into x sin x by 2 plus cos 3x by 8, 8. Because here there is minus and here there is minus. Therefore, minus into minus becomes plus. Okay. Next, come to the problem number 17. Here you can see the problem is in operator form. d square plus 5d minus 6 into y is equal to sin 4x into sin x it is in the form of operator uh, operator form and sin a sin b form therefore first write the auxiliary equation 
m square plus 5m minus 6 equal to 0. For this, you can, similar way, you can find the roots for this one. 1 comma minus 6. m1 is 1, my m2 is minus 6. Therefore, the roots are real and unequal. c1 e to the power of m1x plus c2 e to the power of m2x. C m1 is 1, m2 is minus 6. Complementary function is over. Coming to the p i. The numerator is in the form of sin c sin d 1 by 2 into cos of c minus d minus cos of c plus d where c is equal to 4x d is equal to x that you have to apply the formula that if that means 1 by 2 into cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b by f of d 1 by 2 into cos 3x by f of d minus cos 5x by f of d 1 by 2 into p i 1 minus p i 2 First find the PA1, cos 3x by d square plus 5d minus 6, where a is equal to 3, a square is equal to 9, that means d square is equal to minus 9, that is a minus a square value, only substitute d square value in the denominator, minus 9 plus 5d minus 6, that means 5d minus 15. You can multiply numerator and denominator with d plus 3, for getting in the denominator d square value, okay d plus 3 into cos 3x by d plus 3 into d minus 3. Denominator is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. It becomes a square minus b square. Then only you have to substitute the value of d square in denominator. Okay. 1 by 5 into d plus 3 cos 3x by a square means d square, b square means 3 square. That is 9. 9. Coming to the problem number, continuation of the problem. 1 by 5 into 1 by 5 into d plus 3 into cos 3x by d square is minus 9. Next d of cos 3x plus 3 cos 3x by minus 9 minus 9 is minus 19. 19. Okay. Here you can see d of d of cos 3x means derivative of derivative of cos 3x. Okay. What is the derivative of cos 3x? See for negative therefore minus 3 into sin 3x. Minus 3 sin 3x is the derivative of cos 3x. Second term as it is 3 cos 3x. Therefore, minus minus plus it is 1 by 90. Because 5 into 18 is 90. 3 sin 3x minus 3 cos 3x is PA1. Coming to the PA2, cos 5x by d square plus 5d minus 6. Where a is equal to x coefficient 5. a square is equal to 25. d square is equal to minus a square minus 25 substitute in f of d okay here only for d square you can substitute minus 25 plus 5d minus 6 it after after the simplification cos 5x by 5d minus 31 multiply numerator and denominator with 5d plus 31 what happened 5d plus 31 into cos 5x by 5d plus 31 into 5d minus 31 it is in the form of again a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square where a is to 5d b is 31 5d whole square minus 31 whole square derivative of cos 5x is minus 5 sin 5x plus 31 cos 5x by 25d square minus 961 31 whole square value again put d square is equal to what minus a square that is minus 25 therefore minus 25 sin 5x plus 31 cos 5x by 25 into minus 25 minus 961. After simplification, 25 into 25 is 625. We get 1586 by taking minus common. Complementary function equal to C of plus P A. Uh, sorry, y solution y is equal to C of plus P A. C of e is C1 e power x plus C2 e power minus 6x plus 1 by 2 into P A1 is 3 sin 3x minus 3 cos 3x by 90 minus P2 is 25 sin 5x minus 31 cos 5x by 1586. Next come to the problem number 18. 18. Here you can see solve d square minus 4d plus 3 into y is equal to sin 3x into cos 2x. Here also the problem left hand side is in operator form. Directly you can write the auxiliary equation and comparing with the quadratic form. Write the quadratic formula. Next, so substitute the values of a, b, c. We get the roots 3, comma 1. Then write the formula for real and unequal formula. C1 e power m1x, c2 e power m2x, where c m1 is 3, m2 is 1. 
complementary function is over coming to the pi it is in the form of sin a cos b by f of d what is the formula for sin a cos b sin a cos b is equal to 1 by 2 into sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b where a is equal to 3x b is equal to 2x substitute in the form of 1 by 2 into sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus that means sin 3x plus 2x plus sin 3x minus 2x 3x plus 2x is 5x, 3x minus 2x is x, therefore 1 by 2 into pi1 plus pi2. Coming to the pi1, sin 5x by d square minus 4d plus 3. Here you can see what is x coefficient, a is equal to 5, next row, a square is equal to 5 square that is 25, put d square is equal to minus a square minus 25 in f of d only, f of d. Next, only for f d square value you can substitute. What is d square value minus 25? That is the substitution for the sin and cos. Okay. Next, coming to the sin 5x by minus 4d minus 25 because minus 25 plus 3 is minus 22. You can you can you can take minus common minus of sin 5x by 4d plus 22. Multiply numerator and denominator with conjugate that is. 4d minus 22. Next, so what 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 we get? Minus of 4d minus 22 into sin 5x by 4d minus 22 into 4d plus 22. For denominator, it is in the form of a plus a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square, where a is equal to 4d, b is equal to 22. Numerator as it is, denominator a square minus b square means 16 d square minus 22 whole square is 22 whole square means 22 into 22 that you have to get 484, 484, 4d into sin 5x minus 22 into sin 5x by Again, you can substitute in the place of d square minus 25, 16 into minus 25 minus 484, 16 into minus 25 is minus 400 d of sin 5x the derivative of sin 5x so d of sin 5x means d by dx of that you have to remember for sin 5x that is equal to 5 cos 5x 5 cos 5x minus 22 sin 5x by minus 400 minus 484 minus 20 cos 5x 5 into 4 minus 22 sin 5x by that by, by simplifying these minus 400 minus 484 is minus 884 we can take minus common 20 cos 5x minus 22 sin 5x by 884 pa2 is sin x by d square minus 4d plus 3 where x coefficient is 1 a square is equal to 1 square that is equal to 1 a square equal to minus a square that is equal to minus 1 in f of d sin x by minus 1 minus 4d plus 3 where, where d square value is minus 1. It becomes minus 4d plus 2 by min, minus 2. Therefore, you can take 2 common, minus 1 by 2 common, sin x by 2d minus 1. Multiply numerator and denominator with conjugate of denominator. What is denominator conjugate? 2d plus 1. 2d plus 1 into sin x by 2d plus 1 into 2d minus 1. Next, you can simplify it. What we get? minus 1 by 2 into 2d plus 1 into cos x by 2d square minus 1 square because it is in the form of denominator a square minus b square a square value is 2d a whole square minus b square value is 1 square numerator 2d plus 1 into sin x by 4d square minus 1 put d square is equal to minus 1 because 4 into minus 1 minus 1. What is the derivative of sin x cos x? Therefore, minus 1 by 2 into 2 cos x plus sin x by minus 5. Minus 5 into 2 is minus into minus plus 10. 1 by 10 into 2 cos x plus sin x is p a 2. Solution is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Therefore, y equals c 1 e power 3 x plus c 2 e power x plus 1 by 2 into p a 1 is 20 cos 5 x minus 22 sin 5 x by 884 plus 2 cos x plus sin x by 10 is p a 2. Coming to the problem number 19. Solve d square minus 3 d plus 2 into y is equal to cos 3 x into cos 2 x. You can, you can keep the right hand side. Coming to the left hand side, it is in the operator form. Write the auxiliary equation and comparing with the quadratic form. It is the standard form of the quadratic form for finding the roots. Next, what is the roots? 2 comma 1. 
द रूट्स आर रियल एंड एन इक्वल कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन इक्वल टू सी वन ई पॉवर एम वन एक्स प्लस सी टू पॉवर एम टू वेर एम वन इक्वल टू टू अंड एम टू इक्वल टू वन यू कैन सब्सिट्यूट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन इज ओवर कमिंग टू द पी ई हियर यू कैन सी वट इज पी ई कास ए कास बी वट इज द फार्मुला फार कास ए इंटू कास बी इज वन बै टू इंटू वन बै टू इंटू कास ए प्लस बी प्लस कास आफ ए मैनस बी वेर एज ईक्वल टू थ्री एक्स बी इज ईक्वल टू टू एक्स यू कैन सब्स्यूट द वैल्यू वन बै टू इंटू कास आफ थ्री एक्स प्लस टू एक्स प्लस कास आफ थ्री एक्स मैनस टू एक्स होल डिवेडेड बै एफ आफ डी यू कैन सिंप्लीफाइ इट वन बै टू इंटू कास फाइव एक्स प्लस कास एक्स बै एफ आफ डी इट कैन बी रिटन एस वन बै टू इंटू कास फाइव एक्स बै एफ आफ डी प्लस कास एक्स बै एफ आफ डी दट इज ईक्वल टू वन बै टू इंटू पी ए वन प्लस पी ए टू लाइक दिस यू हेव टू रईट फॉर् ईजी क्यालक्युलेन पी ए वन इज ईक्वल टू कास फाइव एक्स बै वट इज डिनामेटर एफ आफ डी वैल्यू इज डी स्क्वेर मैनस थ्री डी प्लस टू हियर वट इज एक्स क्वेशेंट फाइव वट इज ए स्क्वेर फाइव स्क्वेर put d square is equal to minus a square that means 5 square is 25 is equal to minus 25 in f of d for d square only you have to substitute cos 5x by minus 25 minus 5d plus 2 that is equal to cos 5x by minus 5d minus 20 3 minus 23. You can take minus common. Minus of cos 5x by 5d plus 23. For denominator to get d square value, multiply numerator and denominator with 5d minus 23. 5d minus 23. That is equal to minus 5d minus 23. Into cos 5x by 5d minus 23 into 5d plus 23. 5d plus 23. Denominator is in the form of a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square minus of 5 into d of cos 5x minus 23 cos 5x whole divided by 5d whole square minus 23 whole square that is equal to minus 5d 5d cos 5x minus 23 cos 5x by 25d square minus 23 whole square is equal to 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 2 into 3 into 2 that is equal to 6 into 12. That here you can write 9 2 5. Okay, 5 29. That is equal to minus 5 into derivative of cos 5x is minus 5 sin 5x minus 23 cos 5x whole divided by in the place of d square here you can substitute what is minus 25. 5 25 into minus 25 minus 5 29. 25 into 25 is minus of minus 25 sin 5x minus 23 cos 5x whole divided by minus 625 minus 529. In the, in the numerator you can take minus common. It becomes a plus 25 sin 5x. Min plus 23 cos 5x whole divided by here you can see 4 9 next to 5 5 6 11 1 1 5 4 is pa 1 next coming to the pa 2 cos x by pa 2 is cos x by 
डी स्क्वेयर माइनस थ्री डी प्लस टू हियर कोइफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स इज वन ए स्क्वेयर इज वन स्क्वेयर दैट इज वन पुट डी स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू माइनस ए स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू माइनस वन वॉट हैपन कॉस एक्स बाई माइनस वन माइनस थ्री डी प्लस टू कॉस एक्स बाई माइनस थ्री डी माइनस वन प्लस टू इज प्लस वन यू कैन टेक हियर आल्सो माइनस आर यू कैन यू कैन राइट इट एज कॉस एक्स बाई वन माइनस थ्री डी ओके हियर यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई मल्टीप्लाई न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमरेटर विथ कॉन्जुगेट वन प्लस थ्री डी ओके दैट इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस थ्री डी इंटू कॉस एक्स बाई वन प्लस थ्री डी इंटू वन माइनस थ्री डी द डिनोमिनेटर इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी दैट इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर कॉस एक्स प्लस थ्री इंटू डी ऑफ कॉस एक्स बाई वन स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री डी होल स्क्वेर कॉस एक्स माइनस डी ऑफ कॉस एक्स मीन्स माइनस साइन एक्स देर फोर थ्री साइन एक्स बाई हियर यू कैन सी वन माइनस थ्री डी स्क्वेर इन द प्लेस ऑफ डी स्क्वेर यू कैन राइट माइनस वन दैट इज इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स माइनस थ्री साइन एक्स बाई वन माइनस थ्री इन टू माइनस वन देर फोर पी ए टू इज इक्वल टू कॉस एक्स माइनस थ्री साइन एक्स बाई वन प्लस वन प्लस थ्री इज फोर सोल्यूशन इज वाई इज इक्वल टू सी एफ प्लस पी आई वाई इज इक्वल टू वट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन सी वन ई टू द पॉवर ऑफ टू एक्स सी टू ई टू द पॉवर ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन बाई टू इन टू पी आई वन वट इज पी आई वन ट्वेंटी फाइव साइन फाइव एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री कॉस फाइव एक्स माइनस कामन ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉस फाइव एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री सॉरी फर्स्ट वन इज साइन फाइव एक्स सेकेंड वन इज कॉस फाइव एक्स बाई माइनस वन वन फाइव फोर वन वन फाइव फोर दैट इज पी आई वन नेक्स्ट वट इज पी आई टू प्लस कॉस एक्स माइनस थ्री साइन एक्स बाई फोर इज पी ए टू इट इज कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी सॉल्व वाई डबल डैश प्लस फोर वाई डैश प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर कॉस एक्स प्लस थ्री साइन एक्स इट इज सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम बट द कंडीशन आर देर ऑपरेटर फॉर्म इज डी स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर डी प्लस फोर इंटू वाई इज ईक्वल टू फोर कॉस एक्स प्लस थ्री साइन एक्स हियर कंडीशन वन इज वाई आप जीरो इज ईक्वल टू वन इज कंडीशन नंबर वन वाई डब डैश वाई डैश आप जीरो इज कंडीशन नंबर टू नेक्स्ट फर्स्ट राइट द एक्सलर इक्वेशन एक्सलर इक्वेशन इज एम स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर एम इक्वल टू जीरो हियर इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक वाइट द क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मला नेक्स्ट सब्सिट्यूट द ए बी सी वैल्यूज Next we get the roots minus two comma minus two two that is the roots are real and equal. For real real and equal c one plus c two x into e power m x is the solution that is equal to c one plus c two x into m value is m comma m is minus two. Therefore, complementary function is over. Coming to the p a four cos x plus three sin x by f of d it can be written as p a one plus p a two form. p a one is equal to four cos x by d square plus four d plus four. Where coefficient of x is one, a square is one. Put d square equal to minus one in f of d. Therefore, minus one plus four d plus one can be simplified. Form is four d plus three. Operate multiply four d minus three numerator and denominator. Four d minus three into cos x by four d minus three into four d plus three. Next here you can see sixteen d minus twelve. I'm not multiplying into cos x by a square minus b square form. A plus b a, a square is 16d square b square is 9. Therefore, you can substitute d square is equal to minus 1 in f of d only. That is in denominator only. Therefore, 16 into minus 1 minus 9 is the denominator value. Numerator 16 into d of cos x minus 12 cos x. D of cos x means the derivative of cos x minus sin x minus 12 cos x by minus 16 minus 9. 
that is equal to minus 16 into sin x minus 12 cos x by minus 25 minus common 12 sin x plus 12, 16 sin x plus 12 cos x by 25 is the total PI1 value. PI2 is equal to 3 sin x by d square plus 4 d plus 1. Similarly, x coefficient is 1, a square is equal to 1 put d square equal to minus 1. Therefore, 3 sin x by 4 d plus 3 is the denominator value. Multiply numerator and denominator with conjugate of denominator 4 d minus 3 is the conjugate of denominator for 4 d plus 3. 3 into 4 d minus 3 into sin x by a 4 d minus 3 into 4 d plus 3. The denominator is in the form of a minus b into a plus b that is equal to a square minus b square where a is equal to 4d, b is equal to 3. Therefore, 16d square minus 9, a square value and b square value. Next, so denominator is 12 into sin d of sin x is cos x minus sin x by minus 25. Denominator after simplification. Solution is complementary function plus particular integral. Complementary function is c1 plus c2x d equal to x plus 1 by 2 into 16 sin x plus 12 cos x by 25 plus 12 sin cos x minus 9 sin x by minus 25. It is equation number A that you have to say. Next, uh, applying the conditions. So, what are the condition 1? Y of 0 equal to 0 means put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 in equation number A. That means solution. x is equal to 0 means 0 is equal to c1 plus c2 into 0 into e power 0 plus 1 by 2 into sin 0 plus 12 cos 0 by 25 minus sin 0 minus 9 sin 0 by 25. Whereas you have the x value put x is equal to 0, y value that you have to substitute 0. Therefore, on simplification, 0 is equal to c1 plus 0 into 1, e power 0 means 1. 1 by 2 into cos sin 0 is sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is g 1, e power 0 is 1. Uh, after sub substitution, 0 is equal to c1 plus 1 by 2 into 12 by 25 minus 12 by 25. Negative positive cancel. Therefore, it becomes 0. Therefore, c1 equal to 0. What is y? y is equation number a. c1 plus c2x into e power 2x plus 1 by 50 common 16 sin x plus 12 cos x minus 12 cos x plus 9 sin x. 12 cos x, 12 cos x, it's cancel. y is equal to after simplification. Here you can see what is condition number 2? What is condition number 2? Here you can see what is condition number 2 means y dash of 0 is equal to y dash of 0 is equal to 0. y dash of 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, for applying this condition, differentiate equation number 1 with respect to x. Therefore, differentiate with respect to x equation number a both sides y dash of y dash equal to constant derivative is 0 c2 into x derivative is 1 into e power 2x it is in the form of uv u into u dash into v plus u into v dash next e power 2x derivative is e power 2x 2 into e power 2x therefore sin x derivative is cos x cos x derivative is minus sin x cos x derivative is minus sin x, sin x derivative is cos x, 12 sin x, 12 sin x gets cancelled. Therefore, by applying the condition number 2, y dash of 0 equal to 0 means put x equal to 0, y dash equal to 0 in equation number b. That means derivative of the solution. 0 equal to c2 into e power 0, c2 into e power 0 plus c1 plus c2 into 0 into e power 0 plus 1 by 50 into cos 0 plus 9 sin 9 cos 0. Here you can see 0 is equal to c2 into e power 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, c1 because c1 is also 0, 1 by 50 into 16 cos 0 is 1 plus 9 into cos 0 is 1. C2, C2 is 25 by 25, 25 by 50 is 1 by 2, C2 is plus 1 by 2 equal to 0, C2 equal to minus 1 by 2. In this way, we can find the constant values by applying the conditions. Therefore, in the solution, you can substitute constant C1 equal to 0, C2 equal to minus 1 by 2. We get minus 1 by 2 into x into e power 2x plus 1 by 50 into 16 sin x plus 9 sin x. That is 25 sin x by cancelling. Minus x by 2 into e power 2x by 2 plus sin x by 2 is the complete solution for the problem.
Next, come to the last. Next problem. Solve y double dash plus 4y dash plus 20y is equal to 23 sin x minus 15 cos x. First condition is y of 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 equal to minus 1. First, write the operator form. Operator, operator form is d square plus 4d plus 20 into y is equal to 23 sin x minus 15 cos x. Next, auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation is in the form of quadratic form that you know. Write the formula for quadratic form. Substitute the values. We get the roots that is complex. A is equal to minus 2. B is equal to 4. The roots are complex. You can write the complex form e to the power of minus 2t because the problem is in t because it is in the form of dy by dt form. dy by dt form. Therefore, you can write the solution in terms of t. Therefore, e power minus 2t into c1 cos 4t plus or minus c2 sin 4t is complementary function. Coming to the p a1, 23 sin t by d square plus 4d plus 20. Here, x t coefficient is 1. a square is equal to 1 put d square equal to minus 1 in the first denominator. Similarly, for the second denominator also a, a is equal to 1, a square is equal to 1 put d square equal to minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 plus 4d plus 20, minus 1 plus 4d plus 20. Denominator is same, 4d plus 19. You can multiply with conjugate for both the denominators. So, we get 4d minus 19. After multiplying with 4d minus 19, we get 23 into 4d minus 19 into sin t by 4d minus 19 into 4d plus 19. It is also similar. It is in the form of a minus b into a plus b, a square minus b square. Therefore, 16d square minus 19 square is 361. Therefore, 23 into 4d minus 19 into sin t is 23 into 4d into sin t minus 19 sin t. Here also 15 into 4 into d of cos t minus 19 cos t. Put d square is equal to minus 1 in for, the, for the, both the denominators. Minus 16 into, my, 16 into minus 1 is minus 16 into 361. D of D of sin x is cos x. So D of cos x is sin x. Therefore, 23 into 4 is 92 cos t minus 4, 37 sin t. 23 into 19 by minus 377. Here, my 15 into minus 4 is minus 60 sin t. Minus 15 in, plus 15 into minus 19 is minus 285 cos t by denominator is same. 4, you can simplify the both the values by taking 377 common, 437 sin t minus 92 cos t minus 16 sin t minus 285 cos t, whole divided by 377. For, for, for simplifying this one, you get 377 common sin t minus cos t by 377. Therefore, P A is equal to sin t minus cos t. Solution is Y is equal to C of plus P A. Solution is y is equal to e power minus 2t into c1 cos 4t plus or minus c2 sin 4t plus sin t minus cos t. That you have to say equation number a for applying the condition. So, what is condition number 1? Condition number 1 is y of 0, y of 0 equal to 0 means put t is equal to 0 and y is equal to instead of x equal to 0 you can substitute t is equal to 0. Therefore, 0 equal to e power 0, c1 0 plus c2 0 plus sin 0 cos 0. He see similarly cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0, ok, e power 0 is 1, therefore c1 equal to 1. If you can take, uh, for, for applying y dash is equal to, y dash of 0 is equal to minus 1, for applying this one, you can differentiate uh, solution with respect to x. After differentiation of the solution, it is in the form of uv, therefore y dash equal to minus 2 into e power minus 2t into c1 cos 4t plus or minus c2 sin 4t plus uh, e to the power of minus 2t into this derivative is cos 4t derivative is minus 4 sin 4t plus 4 into c2 into cos 4t. Sin t derivative is cos t, cos t derivative is minus sin t, minus of minus plus, it is equation number v. Apply the condition number 2, y dash of 0 equal to minus 1, that means t is equal to 0, y dash is equal to minus 1 in equation b. Equation number b is so derivative of equation number a. Therefore, minus 1 is equal to 2 into e power 0 c1 cos 0 plus or minus c2 sin 0 plus e power 0 into minus 4 c1 sin 0 plus 4 c2 into cos 0. Cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. You can substitute e power 0 is also 1. You can substitute the values. We get c1 equal to 1. Next, 
because c1 equal to 1 after substituting the c1 value 4 c2 equal to 0 c2 equal to 0 c1 is equal to 1 c2 equal to 0 substitute the substitute in solution y is equal to e power minus 2 to into c1 is 1 c2 is 0 by 4 into sin 40 this becomes 0 therefore e power minus 40 into cos 40 plus or minus 0 into sin 40 plus sin t minus cos t e power minus 2 t into cos 40 plus sin t minus cos t is the solution with conditions okay next coming to the problem number 22 solve d square plus 4 into y is equal to sin t plus 1 by 3 into cos 3 t plus 1 by 5 into sin 5 t here condition is y of 0 equal to 0 is first condition first condition y dash of 0 is 3 by 35 is second condition similarly you can write the auxiliary form then find the solution complementary function the roots are complex after finding the complementary function, we'll go for the particular integral sin t by d square plus 4, sin 3t by 1 by 3 into d square plus 4, sin 5t by 5 into d square plus 4. Coming to the first p a1, what is a t coefficient? a is equal to 1, a square is equal to 1, put d square equal to minus 1. Similarly, a is equal to 3, b a square equal to 9, d square equal to minus 9. Here, a is equal to 5, a square equal to 25, d square equal to minus 25. You can substitute separately. You get 8 d square is equal to minus 1, d square is equal to minus 9, d square is equal to minus 25. After simplifying, sin t by 3 is pa1, sin 3t by minus 15 is 20, 15 is pa2, sin 5t by minus 105 is pa3. Next, so coming to the solution, y is equal to cf plus pa, c1 cos 2t plus c2 sin 2t, sin t by 3 minus sin 3t by 15 minus sin 5t by 105 is a. Condition number 1 is y of 0 equal to 1 means put t is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 in a. 1 is equal to c1 cos 0, c2 sin 0, sin 0 by 3, sin 3 into 0 by 15, sin 3, 5 into 0 by 105. Sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1. Therefore, c1 is equal to 1. Differentiate equation number 1 with respect to t, we get y dash. y dash is minus 2c into sin 2t plus 2c2 into cos 2t plus cos 3t by 3 minus 3 sin 3t by 15 minus 5 cos 5 sin 5t by 105. After cancellation, apply the condition number 2, y dash of 0 equal to 3 by 35 means t is equal to 0, y dash equal to 3 by 35. 3 by 35, 3 by 35 equal to minus 2 into c1 sin 0, c2, 2c2 cos 0, cos 0 by 3 minus cos 0 by 5 minus cos 0 by 21. Cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. 3 by 20, 35 is equal to 2c2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 22. Send the, all the values to right side, 2c2 is equal to 3 by 20. 3 by 35 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 21. LCM is 105. 9 minus 105. 35 into 105 is by dividing we get 3. The 3 into 3 is 9. Similarly, 3 minus 35 plus 21 plus 5. Therefore, 35 minus 35 that is 105. 2C2 equal to 0. C2 equal to 0. Where after substituting the c1 and c2 two constant values in the solution y equal to c1 is 1 c2 is 0 therefore y equal to cos 2t plus sin t by 3 minus sin 3t by 15 minus sin 5t by 105 is the complete solution for the problem up to this problem the session of the sin a sin b cos a cos b sin a cos b cos a sin b is completed okay bye